According to quantum physics, we don't know anything, and therefore, let me tell yeah. you how reality <laughs> works, and I know everything about it. Here we are. Say you take something like this. This isn't, I, I wouldn't call this the best representation of DMT or anything like that, but this is, this is an intriguing thing that does resonate with, not that I've seen something exactly like this, this is Hakan Hism, uh, this is his universal transmissions for any audio listeners out there, you want to pause and have a look, um, but, it, but it, it resonates with like a feeling of like some of the structure, the fractal-like uh, uh, world. Let, let me just cut to the chase of where I'm going to be going with this, and then I might have to walk it back because I don't want to just give you a 15-minute monologue, um, as tempting as that is. I sometimes think, what was perception like in utero before we were mm. born or before our perception mm. was, um, was assembled? Is it possible that it looked like this kind of um, fractal world? Which, I mean, fractals being speaking of talking way out of school about physics and geometry um fractals being this nice little way of having these kind of recursive patterns and sort of fitting infinity inside of a finite space or whatever which is all this is a bit of a metaphor but but i always thought wouldn't that be kind of an interesting way for the brain to pat to like to pass like packets of information or store memories in some way if it if it had all of these kind of recursive little bits that it was able to compartmentalize and and then and then once you're born and you start making sense of reality you start attaching this shape to that shape much in the same way that that any number like the number 1 having one of something was a concept that existed and would exist and you would perceive whether or not you ever labeled it with the numeric one or if it was yes. a numeric number of of a completely different shape altogether and we just yeah. kind of learn to translate these kind of um what what I would say is um um more of like a the the foundation of of perception uh, like like this is what's going on in the background in the subconscious all of the time that that gives rise to um what we consider modern perception and i have a couple other takes on that but i'll let you take a whack at that one as i understand it right so you're saying perhaps that there is underlying structure and activity in the brain and normally um, this is organized and we have surface level perception. This is the kind of the world that we experience, right? Um, mm -hmm. Normally, uh, but underneath the, the foundation of that is a is completely different. It's it's uh, it's unconscious, uh, but it's giving rise to everything we see on the surface. And and you think perhaps that with DMT, all of that that normally unconscious activity is actually uh, becoming uh, coming to the surface, right? Is that it? Perhaps a fun metaphor uh, would would be like imagine imagine you were completely unfamiliar with how computers worked. Just like you hand yeah. a baby a tablet, they can figure it out pretty quickly. They don't ever have to actually know how computer programming works. Yeah, uh, someone yeah. could go their entire life without ever seeing computer code. But if you if okay. you had never even heard okay. of such a thing, okay. and then one day me, someone showed interject. you like the binary so, <laughs> codes yeah. that make the pixels on the screen, you'd be like, "Oh my god, I've been jerking off to ones and zeros <laughs> this whole time. What is going on?" <laughs> you know, and it. It seemed like, oh, that's what the truth is. I saw behind yeah, yeah, the veil. Yeah, yeah. And really, there were just two perceptual languages of the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's kind of possible. Um, certainly, it's not, it's certainly not um, thought and it's, it's certainly not the case at all that, that all brain activity that affects your perception of the world is conscious. It's certainly we, there's, consciousness is surprisingly kind of diaphanous uh, and, and, and flexible and, and illusory. And a lot of, there's a lot, the brain does a lot of filling in uh, of, of its model of reality. And there are a number of kind of illusions that you can, you can, 
you can you can look at that will kind of demonstrate that. But um, um, so certainly there's there's certainly a lot of processing that goes on uh, in in a similar kind of way. Um, it, it, uh, as, as a computer, right? So you look at the kind of the desktop of a computer screen and you see you see this kind of very organized structure. You've got the recycling bin and you've got these icons and everything looks clear, but then underneath uh, you've got really these kind of electromagnetic pulses that are firing, you know, around these these chips and it's completely, they, they have no relationship to each other whatsoever, apparently. No ostensible connection. You could, you could right. never look, you could never look at these electromagnetic pulses on these circuit boards, even if you could visualize them, really, you would go, oh, this is where the recycle, no. It, it, there, there has this, the mapping is almost incomprehensible uh, to the human mind between those. Mm. Um, there is obviously a mapping because that electrical activity gives rise to uh, the things you see on the screen, but it's not something that you can ever imagine um, or, or conceive really what, what's going on there. It's, 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 too, mm. it's too kind of complicated. Um, mm. and, and, and certainly in, in the case of perception, that's also perhaps true as well, and that you've got this activity that's going on, um, brain activity that's, that's going on beneath consciousness or outside of consciousness. Um, and then uh, that gives rise to the, the kind of the model that we construct. Um, does that, you know, why then would DM, it, it doesn't really explain why you would see um, you know, aliens and entities and uh, these kind of beings. Let me throw something at you then. Are you familiar with, um, I imagine you are. Yeah, I bet you are. Like, uh, you know, the cortical homunculus.